Workers laid off by the Black Butte Coal Company say they were blindsided by the news. Neighbors of Cheyenne's Frontier Park aren't thrilled at the prospect of horse racing after Frontier Days. And the chairman of the Wyoming Democratic Party will be hosting a drag show in Rock Springs on New Year's Eve. We'll take a look at these stories and more today from Wyoming's largest news organization. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily. Coal miners laid off by the Black Butte Coal Company are mad. This week, 19 workers at the mine near Rock Springs were told they'd be let go, despite being told earlier this year by managers that their jobs were safe. Cowboy State Daily's Leah Wolfson spoke to several of the employees who are now out of work and during the holiday season. Some of the people who got laid off feel like they were blindsided by getting laid off and that the company gave them false confidence and false hope that their jobs were secure for the future. Representatives from Black Butte told Cowboy State Daily that the primary reason for the layoffs is a continued failure of the Federal Department of the Interior to approve planned expanded operations at Black Butte. Well, those who pass through Wyoming with large quantities of cash, beware. The state can confiscate cash linked to drug marketing that might be legal elsewhere, but is illegal here. Wyoming Supreme Court Justice Keith Cotts penned that Thursday opinion on behalf of the high court, an opinion that Cowboy State Daily's Claire McFarland said one former lawmaker vehemently opposed. Tyler Lindholm, a former Wyoming lawmaker, very libertarian-minded Republican, was nuclear over this Supreme Court ruling today. He equated it to theft, said the government needs to stop taking from people, stealing from people that are just traveling through this state. McFarland reports that Wyoming's Attorney General, Bridget Hill, countered, saying that people elected lawmakers that have determined that the state may seize assets if they're shown to be tied to drug activities that would be illegal in Wyoming. Well, people who live around the Cheyenne Frontier Days grounds were armed with lots of questions for Excel Entertainment about the company's plans to add live horse racing at Frontier Park once the world's largest outdoor rodeo has concluded. Cowboy State Daily's Renee Jean attended the Wednesday meeting in which Mike Thiessen, a spokesman and consultant working with Excel Entertainment, told residents that the horse racing will be a much smaller, much quieter event than CFD. It's not going to be that many people. It's not going to be rowdy. There aren't music concerts. Uh, A lot of the things that happen during Giant Frontier Days won't be happening as part of this. But I think at the end of the day, the residents are not too convinced that this is going to be a good thing for their neighborhood. I'll be back with more news right after this. At Hilltop Bank, we understand that buying a home is a big decision. That's why we're here to be your trusted partner on the path to home ownership. Our experienced mortgage team will guide you every step of the way, from pre-approval to closing. We offer competitive rates and a wide variety of home loan options to best suit your needs. With our local knowledge and personalized service, you'll feel confident and comfortable throughout the entire home buying process. Contact us today to start your journey toward home ownership. Hilltop Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The chairman of the Wyoming Democratic Party will be hosting a drag show in Rock Springs on New Year's Eve. Drag shows have become a target for some in recent years because of a belief that they promote a negative lifestyle and deliver a dangerous message to children about gender identity. But Joe Barbuto told Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson that he thinks it's important that residents in southwest Wyoming be offered a variety of artistic events and public performance opportunities. I spoke to Kenny McCormick, who is the official organizer of the event, and he said that people shouldn't assume that drag shows are inherently sexual and that they're trying to appeal to some sort of agenda. And he and Barbudo were both saying that he wants people to at least go to a drag show before they judge it. Barbudo clarified to Cowboy State Daily that he won't host the event in his capacity as chairman of the Democratic Party, nor will he himself be appearing there in drag. And a young Wyoming mule deer buck likely doesn't realize how lucky he is. After all, the odds were stacked against the right people seeing him at the right time after his antlers became helplessly entangled in an electric fence. Annie Bodingheimer Beaumont told Cowboy State Daily's Mark Hines that the deer became trapped in a roadside field along U.S. Highway 26 between Dubois and Riverton Saturday when she and her party came upon the desperate animal. They managed to get a hold of the the landowner, and the landowner not only granted them permission to come onto the land to help this deer. They also made sure the power was off to that particular fence, so they didn't didn't shock themselves. They managed to cut this deer free of, of the electric fence wire, and he ran off seemingly healthy, seemingly okay, even though he still had some of the wire stuck in his antlers. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the subscribe button on CowboyStateDaily.com. I'm Wendy Core for Cowboy State Daily.